You can apparently ghost ride your Tesla now. That's right, it's been confirmed that Teslas can drive with nobody sitting in the driver's seat. Actual testing has been done on this by Consumer Reports after the fatal Tesla Model S crash in Texas. Before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Nick and I bring you videos about investing and money trends every single week. If you end up liking this video, you better go down below and actually like the video. With that being said, welcome and let's get started. Consumer Reports said Thursday they took a Tesla Model Y out on a closed track to really see if it could drive itself with no driver. Now, as I said, this was a closed track, no other cars, no one could actually get hurt in this test. Now, after all of the Consumer Report tests, they came back and said, that they could easily get the car to drive even with nobody in the driver's seat. Now, for those of you that don't know, when you're driving a Tesla and you have it on autopilot or the beta self-driving mode, you are still supposed to be in that driver's seat paying attention to the road. And when you have autopilot on, you're still supposed to have your hands on the steering wheel. Consumer Reports said they were able to trick the Tesla by putting a weighted chain on the steering wheel as well as buckling the driver's seat. My thought is that that the weighted chain is used and kind of mimics the hands or the pressure that hands would have on the steering wheel. Now it does say other companies like Ford and other car manufacturers use cameras to make sure that the driver is paying attention in self-driving mode. While Tesla, the king of self-driving, only uses that steering wheel to make sure you're sitting in the driver's seat. Now these tests follow the fatal crash of a 2019 Model S in Spring, Texas. Now federal investigations are ongoing in that fatal crash, but they're initially saying that they do not believe a driver was in the driver's seat of the Tesla Model S that crashed. Authorities have not said whether or not autopilot or full self-driving was enabled when the car crashed. Now, Elon Musk actually responded to this event. He tweeted and said, data logs recovered so far show autopilot was not enabled and this car did not purchase full self-driving. So this is actually a good thing for Tesla. They can fully 100% confirm that full self-driving was not enabled in this vehicle because the owner did not pay for it. Tesla is saying that they do not have any logs showing that autopilot was enabled, but they do say they are continuing to investigate and they could find something that contradicts that in the future. Now, something else that is very interesting in this whole case is something with autopilot. So Elon Musk in his tweet said, autopilot needs lane lines for it to actually work. He went on to state that this road where the crash happened did not have any lane lines. So autopilot would not have even worked if the driver did try to enable it. Now the state of Texas actually does plan on serving Tesla search warrants to go through all their logs and any other data relating to the car and the crash. Consumer report engineers did find out that Tesla autopilot can sometimes work when there are no lane lines. Consumer Reports went on to say that any system that looks at lane lines can be tripped. The system may see something that actually isn't a lane line that may look like a lane line. Now they're kind of trashing on Tesla in this case. They're basically saying that Tesla needs to improve all the recognition saying that there is a driver in the driver's seat. Now I personally am on the fence about this. The drivers need to be responsible and obviously not operate the vehicle without them being in the driver's seat. Tesla does not currently claim that these cars can drive themselves without any human intervention. They clearly have stated multiple times that you need to be in the driver's seat watching the road with your hand either on or right next to the steering wheel. I'm not sure if it's completely necessary to have cars and sensors inside the vehicle watching you. Now car manufacturers like BMW, Ford, GM, and Subaru all have camera-based driver assistance and driver detection systems. Again, Teslas don't have these cameras, but they have the sensor in the steering wheel that will nag you if you're not actually taking control of the wheel. But as Consumer Reports found out, you can trick that system pretty easily. Now what will this actually do to Tesla's stock in the short and long term? 
To be honest, there might be a slight hit in Tesla stock in the short term, maybe the next few weeks, but eventually Tesla will easily rebound. And I really do think Tesla stock will be a great growth stock for the next few years. Their systems are still innovating better than any other auto manufacturer. I drove a Tesla Model 3 this past summer and it was amazing. I'm curious to know, what do you guys think about Tesla's self-driving? Do you think they're ahead of the competition? Do you think that this will eventually hurt them if there are more fatal crashes, just like the one in Texas this past weekend? Let me know down below and be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe with those alert bells on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.